Uh, also, I would like to invite all the other guests, for example, like the committee member, if you're willing, by the introduction of all of us to the to our audience, then uh, we will. Uh... Okay, so, right. So, um, anyone please um, inform email that we have a back. Everyone is uh, joining the 4954. Four, right, so we have another one. It's 1326, if you cannot. Know. I will prefer the guests to be in this room. <laughs> I mean, really hit like 100 participants for the first room and we have about another 20 plus for another room. Okay, so it's email in. So I will start and uh, I will start the recording. So I already start the recording. Here and here. Okay. Slides. Right, so Europe is uh, good afternoon and also in US. I, I guess some friends from US now is Global Cup at Home Education Online Challenge 2020. Uh, this is the first online class of uh, briefing for our new online challenge. So welcome you all and that uh, my Zoom cannot fit all of you in one session. And even some of you are in the you. <laughs> please help her. <laughs> Luca, can you help her? Oh, and can you please like send them? Can, okay, right. Be this and um. Yeah, okay. now. Right, so I will continue. Someone please inform Amy to come in the other room. Can someone please? All right, thank you. Okay, so just um let Amy enter the one three. Okay, so we got to get going. Present Amy text. Okay, thanks, Marcus. Right, so let's uh, come back. So as a, a logistic arrangement, so uh, let me tell you like we have two zoom. This um four nine five four, which is the first one. Then we have a backup one because we, we know like we have more than 100 participants registered. So we already set up another one is one, three, and for whoever that could not join the first room, please join the second room, right? One, three, two, six. And then I put the uh, link over here. So please check the second one. So please um, don't draw something, okay? <laughs> I saw some someone actually annotated it. Okay. Um, I'm just do that. Okay, so then um, as also as a backup and also try to uh, let more people to see this session. So it's currently live on Facebook Live who want to join but don't have Zoom installed. You can use that. Okay, and they can comment or anything, but somehow I'm not, or we, is, we are not able to reply as soon, but we will try to reply later on. Okay, and also for the information, just in, just in case that you want this slide that you see, this page, this is uh, the information of here. So today's the first class and we have the materials here, material, or you can download the PDF, right? Whichever that you want. And uh, copy this slide or record it down so that you can access to all this information. And as a reminder, uh, I have uh, this uh, privacy reminder of your webcam. Please turn off your webcam, right? Turn off your webcam. And um, I, I'm currently going to show myself. And later on, I will invite the guests and folks self. Then when we start the session, all the webcam will be turned off. Right, and everything will be recorded, and later on we will publish this uh, on the website. So, just for privacy uh, matters, please be careful on this full name or any personal particular that are sensitive. Right, so just uh, make sure that uh, this uh, video is safe to be uploaded later on. Okay, so that is uh, the first reminder and all the arrangement. So, I hopefully by okay, so let me put this full screen. Okay, so first I would like to introduce um, our organizer. So, um, me, Jeffrey, and I would like to invite Luca, can you say something? Show yourself. Yeah. So Luca, please um, introduce yourself. <laughs> we can't hear you. I can't hear you. Luca, is everything okay? It seems like your mind is not okay. All right, never mind. We switched to another one. Amy, are you here? Yes, hey. hi. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Can you hear yes, I'm speaking. I, th I think something is wrong. I can't. Now it's okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Very clear. Oh, okay, good. I was gonna, I was, I was gonna type in the chat box. Sorry, I can't show myself because I'm on in in my PJ. It's four in the morning. Okay, okay. But it's great to see people participating. Thank you so much. All right, okay. So never mind. So everyone, this is Amy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So Luca. So maybe you want to fix your your mic. Oh, it's okay. So and and then we actually have another two um committee member. So one is uh, Tony. So Tony, can you int uh, introduce yourself? 
Tony. Tony. Karin. <laughs> he was here just now. All right, it's okay. So later on, if you are here, so please introduce yourself. And another one, we have another one, um, um, Kagiwara. So, uh, so all of us, um, committee members. So we are the committee member for organizing committee members. So OC of the RoboCup at Home Education, and we are the people behind that that organize this event. All right. Then the next thing I would like to introduce our sponsor. So sponsor is very important. So we are very honored and also very happy to have um, three big sponsors this time for this event. So um, they also uh, sponsors RoboCup event, right? So um, I'm very glad that they are, they are supporting our online event this time. And also I would like to ask them to, yeah, can you please introduce yourself? So can we start with um, Jose from Masswork? Jose, are you here? He said he tried to join because I think it's quite early in US, in New York. Jose, yes, yes. Okay, you are in another room. <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry because I could not amplify your voice to another room. <laughs> okay, never mind. So, um, uh, right. So just some, um, okay. Since I can't do much on, because you are from the other room. Okay, so thank you, Jose, right? Uh, right, so can we um, go to the other one? So for SoftBank, so Jose, so please, so sorry that I, I could not transfer your voice to another room, but if you have anything you want to say, you can like put it on the chat that I can read out for you, okay? Jose, are you here? Yeah, if you have anything you want to say and you could not say it, please put it on the chat and I'll read out for everyone, right? Then can I have, um, People from SoftBank, SoftBank Robotics. So can I start with Clarice? Yes, hello, Jeffrey. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you yeah. loud and clear. Can you please introduce yourself and talk to the other people? I mean, like the audience. Yeah, yes, of course, with pleasure. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Clarice from uh, SoftBank Robotics uh, Europe, and I'm, um, I'm the Education Marketing Manager for EMEA. So I'm very pleased to, um, to be part of this uh, Education at Home Challenge, even, even uh, if, it, if it's online. So uh, SoftBank Robotics is supporting the, the, the RoboCup uh, since many years now. So uh, we, we are happy to, to, be, to be present with you this year for the, for, for the first time at the Education at Home Challenge, even if it's online. So, and, uh, Thank you, and uh, thank you to be so, uh, to, to, to still motivated uh, to participate uh, to this event. So, and good luck for the challenge. Thanks, Clarice. Thank you. <laughs> right. So, um, can I also have email? Are you here? Okay, here is another room. <laughs> okay, since I can't transfer your, your voice to another room, so can you please like type out in the chat so that I can read out for everyone? Okay. Uh, no, it's not shared by GoFlow, so I need to read it out, right? So, uh, and for those that try to write something on the screen, please don't do that. Yes, okay, so, yeah, email, can you like type something? So, let me first um, uh, read the greetings from Jose. So, Jose says, hi there, everyone here is Jose from Masswork, and happy to be here and look forward to this event. Okay, thank you, Jose. <laughs> Right, um, so that is uh, that. That was from um, um, Masswork, and um, yeah, email. Please send something. And also, I would like to invite the third guest from SoftBank, Pui. I heard you are here. Pui, can you say yes, something? I'm here. Yes. You hear me, okay, Jeffrey? Yes. yes. Please say it clearly and loudly. Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Pui. I'm the uh, head of sales in uh, SoftBank Robotics China. I just like to say thank you to you all for being interested in this uh, competition. I hope this will be like a fun education journey for you all. I see a lot of uh, Chinese students here, I think. So just like to let you know that we are based in Shanghai. We're here to support. Please don't hesitate to contact us for help along the way if you need it, okay? 
Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, um, Fui, for very nice and clear um, uh, uh, speech for everyone. I heard, like, I, I think both rooms should be able to hear you clearly. Right. So now let me read out the message from email from um, uh, our SoftBank engineer. Uh, hello, everyone or everybody. I'm Emil and I have been developing on Pepper since 2013, making application and teaching others how to make application. So I see a lot of potential in education for Pepper. It is a very powerful and versatile platform and I'm looking forward to seeing what you build. All right. So thanks a lot, Emil, for the very nice um, message. So now um, can we like invite the last our last um, sponsor from Jupiter Robot. So um, Miss Lucia <coughs> um, Liu Ting, are you around? Uh, yes, I'm here. Yes. Right. So yes. So please introduce yourself and say something to the audience. Hello, everyone. Thank you, uh, Jeffrey. Uh, my name is Lucia. I'm the director of Jupiter Robot. Uh, Jupiter Robot is a hardware robot development company. It's also a great honor to uh, participate in RoboCup Home Education Challenge. And uh, our company's mission is to promote artificial intelligence and uh, robotics education. And uh, we accept that more and more students will learn the uh, updated technology. Mm. And after that, we will also offer some webcast classes on robotics, and we hope uh, everyone will <laughs> join us. Thank you. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, everyone. Right. Thank you very much. So um, uh, we have done the introduction for both um, uh, us, organizer, and also the sponsor. But um, so anyone like Tony or Amy or anything you want to say, like, but you cannot, um, I mean, um, for Luca, you cannot say some, I mean, like, you cannot, your, your sound is not working. So yeah, I can just put it on the chat and I will try to read out for you. Okay, but Luca, I need you for the, <laughs> for the session. So make sure that you can do something with your mic. Right, so I will turn off my uh, mic from now and I will start our session. Okay, so since we, were, we already done the introduction. Okay, so I will turn off um, my, my video. Okay, so everyone please um, focus on the screen and um, uh, we are projecting the, the slides that I already put up on the website so you can refer to that if somehow you can't see clearly uh, or you want to see it like the rest of the slides you can you can read from there you can even download the PDF so I hope everyone know where to get this slide uh, so we will start our session uh, by explaining all the details that we written on the slide okay Right, and um, Luca, so let me read out the message from Luca. So I would like to just to start thanking everyone for the organization and in particular, Jeffrey, thank you very much. <laughs> right, thanks Luca and thanks for your uh, strong support all the time and also a lot of like very nice um, suggestion. Right, so can you try to unmute my mic? Is that the problem? And unmute again. Yeah, so I have mute and unmute your mic. Luca. Right. So um, you, you cannot hear me, right? Yes, I can hear you now. Finally. Oh, okay, good. Because uh, here I see that uh, in one part of the window the microphone is unmuted. In another part is muted. I don't know. I see. So maybe you want to speak louder so that both. Oh, um, both very good. So uh, yeah, I would like just, uh, to thank everybody. Uh, as you can imagine, before we. Uh, and start this session that has been a lot of work uh, to prepare. And uh, we were uh, planning to have a great uh, 2020 for RoboCapital Home Education. We're planning so many events uh, that uh, none of them has been uh, <laughs> possible to be completed. So I'm very happy that we are able now to replace uh, these uh, physical events with the online classroom. Of course, uh, <coughs> the experience will be different uh, from one side, of course, it's very nice uh, to have all the people together during the workshops and competitions or, and the challenge. On the other side, I think it's very nice to have all many people at the same time from all over the world uh, attending these online classrooms. So I think it's, it will be a very nice experience. It's uh, the first time we are trying this 
kind of uh, activities. So you will excuse us if there will be some uh, uh, little inconvenience or mistakes, but uh, we are very happy to do this. And uh, we will, uh, uh, of course, uh, gather all your feedbacks and comments uh, to, to improve. So thank you everyone for the organization and in particular Jeff being uh, the, uh, the leader of all this uh, event. Right, thank you. Thank you, Luca, for, uh, for all the support and also like we work together. So hopefully like um, we will have uh, more participants from the Europe side as well. So because it's a bit too far for me to reach there. So hopefully like you can bring more people from Europe to join um, these activities. Okay, so now let us start with uh, the first. This is a very important slide. So everyone understand the current situation. So let me read out this. All the proposed activities must be performed in compliance with local regulation and still COVID-19. Students are invited to work and interact. We hope everyone can continue RoboCup development and be at home. So this is the first thing that I hope everyone, uh, safety is the first thing that we concern, right? So um, nothing explanation on the, our, okay, on the content. Right, so along the way, okay, right. So RoboCup at home, um, we, we, we have many audience over here that maybe do not even know what is RoboCup at the video, but I'm not sure whether it's, uh, it is RoboCup at home, highly intelligent, interactive robots, navigate new complex environments in tasks, ranging from registering itself for competition, performing service duties, cleaning, or buttering for previously unknown persons, to grocery shopping in real world locations. And I'm sorry, so many things. Okay, so I will mute it and I will try to do some explanation, okay? Um, I hope you can hear me. Maybe I need to mute this. Okay, so at is the international artificial intelligence based um, robotics competition, competition in the world, robotics competition. Then um, inside there, we uh, development, which is the robots that we use it in, um, that's not inside the factory. All the applications that, that we now thinking is very important. For example, now we are in the situation that we need robots to help us deliver food, to help um, in, um, that we target in RoboCup at home, us to how we can push the technology development and the robot in future. Right. So this, these are all the uh, videos, human-sized robot that work on real and I'll try to keep this brief so that we can focus on the, our event. Okay, the nature of the competition itself uh, started from such work uh, as the first priority, but um, 14 and, and so on. So a group of us made this activity not just for research, but also it, my search to education is a transformation that, that we did RoboCup at home education. So we started RoboCup and we start entering the competition, do research work and so on, and eventually become a platform for education. So hence, we have this um, initial, uh, actually uh, us in the chat room. So what went home and what are the relationships between these two? So, let me read up. Initiative in RoboCup at home that promotes an, an artificial intelligence focused uh, service robot development. Uh, very active effort that is in operation. The competition that we try to organize uh, parallel is more focused on education, right? So um, national, regional, and up to international, right? So later on, I will have some that we have uh, organized. But uh, the main thing here is to spread the education uh, support, right? Then the second thing is open source educational robot cushion. For example, like uh, we have example like using the Twitter bubble, which is a uh, very, we, everything can be from the scratch robots, uh, robot platform. But at the same time, in this year, we also have um, a new initiative to help at home education uh, activities, uh, which is part of our education platform, right? So, but most of the are uh, open for public and also the materials are almost the materials that we, we the, the example and so on, the, all the participants. Although Pepper itself is not an uh, open, and also the education materials and all the activities are all and actually use it to learn about AI and robotics. Okay, then the third giving uh, teaching people how to do robots is enough by materials. Okay, so started last year, I think we that we can use it for training. So we, we organize a lot of workshops and also even during our competition. So the education we have the workshop that come together. So um we produce sets of materials that people can use it for. And I guess um later on we will discuss about this. Of, uh, in this operation. Right, and lastly, outreach meetings that involve many different uh, regions and also community. So this, and also we have uh, academic exchange, we went to, uh, to more people to join. And also our content is not just in of our staff, uh, for example, like our teaching materials, our, for example, me personally, I actually uh, conduct workshop in China. Luca actually did a lot of, um, for example, do the workshop and actually uh, benefit more um, community around the, that is the outreach, we try to outreach more. So um, down there is the link for the community, for the community that able to access Facebook, uh, to join our Facebook page group uh, and the communication uh, live, our Facebook live session uh, is uh, within our So uh, go there and join the group so that we can uh, have more info. Luca, can you say this thing? <laughs> this is your slide. Yes. Luca. <laughs> well, maybe. Okay. So I will leave this two slides for you. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe you can start uh, because in 2015, uh, you started everything in Japan. Maybe you can start the, the first uh, description of 
how did you start and then I will continue. Okay, so um, in 2015, I started this um, RoboCup at Home Education Initiative. Um, why 2015 is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that time is because we run challenge, we, 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 we put like SPL uh, or some home SPL, which is that time still don't have this SPL link or at home in, in Japan open. So that is how we started. But uh, this initiative or, or this activity is actually much earlier because like I job board and brought some robots to do the activities and I start the, um, all my development for other people to, to, to actually add uh, formula uh, in terms of fun was the event that we have in RoboCup at home how we have the model and later on I think like Luca you can come from there. Yes, so I like very much this this idea. So that's why I was very happy to be involved. So in 2017, I did something in Italy. It was just a workshop. And then uh, 2018, we did uh, a little bit more with some uh, uh, additional help of uh, some uh, people. Some of them uh, are also in this chat at this moment. And um, I think this is, uh, has been a very nice initiative. In Italy, we had a program in which universities and schools, high schools, uh, could gather together in order to develop some projects. And when I proposed these projects to school, you can imagine that uh, many, many students uh, contacted me and uh, our team uh, to uh, do this project. So I think that uh, this uh, uh, education uh, initiative uh, is uh, very appealing for students. So that's why I try to push this uh, in Europe, but also since uh, 2018, uh, we've been able to organize the RoboCup Education uh, Challenge during the Ro Worldwide RoboCup event. It was very nice to show to all the RoboCup communities uh, and also to, for example, local uh, schools and uh, local uh, is institutes, uh, what, was, uh, what is uh, RoboCup Education. So it's been uh, very good that the RoboCup Federation accepted uh, this event to be shown uh, in uh, Canada in 2018 in Montreal and 2019 in Sydney. And then of course in 2020, we planned uh, so many events uh, and my estimate uh, uh, was that in 2020, we had uh, as many teams and as many participants than uh, in all the previous years. So it would be, uh, an exponential increase of the diffusion of the at home, but unfortunately, an, another exponential increase of diffusion of a virus uh, has uh, uh, postponed all these events. So, anyway, I think that uh, at home education is still exponentially growing. Right, thank you, uh, Luca. So, but I think like um, it might be a good point also that um, because all our event this year got postponed, so we are forced to think of something else. So that, that's why we have this online challenge, uh, which is, but um, uh, yes, we try to do something within what I'm this learning and uh, the, the mission or the objective of the online challenge, we can achieve something, right? So, and this is and together, make something, uh, make something, how to say, memorable. I think like the next one also is your slide, Luca. Um, or you want me to uh, say this? I think here you can read just some numbers. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, yes, you may, you may comment some of them. Uh, it would be nice to have a more detailed uh, uh, information about these events, but you can see the, in general, the, the exponential growth of this, uh, of this initiative. Yes, so so let, let me add a bit like, um, so personally I run the event in Japan and also uh, those events in Southeast Asia and China as well. And Luca actually running a lot of events in Europe and so on. And also I hopefully later on Amy can do something in, in the, so try to do something. Um, yeah, for Africa, of course, we're going first, I think, <laughs> the first home education in, in APA in, in uh, Africa. So uh, I really want to say thanks to all the local communities in more and more events in different places and countries. And um, I, as I mentioned by Luca, so hopefully this time, I really hope more and more uh, people can join uh, to accelerate our outreach to more people and more join. Our Right, so um, just a brief introduction in terms of uh, open source where we have a wiki, we have a source code, we have a video source code uh, on GitHub, so we see most, mostly, right? And uh, I think slowly we will, we will start to hold, um, I'm very glad to see this and I really ask all the together. Okay, so I will, I will make, so I will just run through this, look at software that you can see uh, is in this um, 
how to say, uh, to our software lane, all the uh, all the beautiful about all these things in our online classes, um, web classes uh, later on in the regular track. So for all the teachers to bring this thing to your uh, community as well. Ah yes, uh, Amy, I'll come to the, come to the the the, the robot. We have a set of um, not just a set. I think we have a few sets of um, all these. We have all these tools and platform and materials. For, we try to move everything to online classroom, but we try to make also the best part about our online classes is we try. Uh, it is a very big challenge for us uh, because we try to keep some hardware as well. But we need to make sure that this in in a normal household item, right? So you can you can uh, so on. And also, I think one of the best we try to have a very model of um, robot development support. They are actually willing to lend out their resources developed by the student. So I will explain more detail later on in our uh, position uh, content. But that is not the current situation make it so not possible to, to handle with very important. Uh, so we try to see what we can do with the cutting real robots uh, without much, um, how to say, different. The last, okay, we are about 10 minutes late from our, or we really want to ask more and more people to join us to bring these things to us. Me and my team, we run through all over the region and we do challenges all over the places, exchange and so on. So by now we have this online platform, it can really spread much faster, especially if you are the leader of the community, whether yeah, any, any place. Let's learn the thing from us, take our resources and materials and grow your <laughs> uh, finish this uh, introduction. So I would like to appreciate and say thanks to many local organizers. I, I appreciate your, your effort to discuss with us, to try um, local activities and also local, uh, obviously, currently or hopefully in future, we will still work together to bring RoboCup at So we need to start our challenge uh, details about um, from, from, from this slide. Right. So, um, Luca, you have anything to add or else I will start? No, no, go, go ahead. Reading okay? Thank you. Okay, right. So just now we spent about the first half an hour uh, to explain to you what uh, who are we, uh, who are our sponsor, to, to thank them as well, and also what are uh, together with us. So that is like, uh, hopefully like after this, because I platform, which is very good, because I can reach to many people. Now I will start the briefing about online channel in a very short, out, short time. So we might have a lot of uh, keep update with us, uh, especially whether it's on our website or our um, Facebook group. Like we can keep in touch after this uh, to tell you more as clear as possible all the details that you need to know in order to online event. So the key here is online event. And also we would, we would like to do a physical channel. We are not replacing, although now we can't do it, but we won't be able to do the physical one. And if this online platform is a good event, we can do this. And of course, we understand that this is to promote AI and robotics learning. And also we want to keep the, com the com Company, the competitions already got postponed to next development, stop writing codes for your robots and so on, because you took some things that you can still continue your robot development. While activities are designed, so as a reminder again, all our activities are designed, don't use this as an excuse for you to like, for example, we always remember the safety uh, reminder that, that uh, our presentation. Right, then, um, since it is totally online, we are going to meet up in a common place to be, uh, to fight how to do this challenge. So we divided into this four phase. Which People without knowing what is RoboCup, even more the online learning. So I think this is one of the good activities. You just connect to our Zoom session or whatever, uh, online, do step by step with us, uh, how to build up all the module uh, in this online challenge. Then we have this drop of those. I know many people might don't have the robots and you to assess your robot in your school or in your labs and so on. Maybe it's really not discussing this issue with our sponsor, particularly build physical uh, hardware. So we have Apple, we have the Jupyter robot. We have been discussing with all these um, manufacturers on, on the do something that let you develop the physical robot things to do. Uh, but we come up with a way. So the way you have some idea how to build robots. Then you have to build all and so on. So you have to run on your laptops, on the simulator, on your bodies, um, documentation and everything done and show it to run on a machine. Okay, okay, I will, I will say more detail with your robot, but with uh, simulators and all the SD. From there, you develop your robot uh, for the task. For example, you do one application, then you do try to do that. You maybe break it down, go on with your, it doesn't matter. You do something and it shows you show navigation code and, and shows to us that you're able to run to wider and we will show this to our sponsors. For example, like code looks promising and they will help you. Help you means they are robots to put your code to their robots and try to run it and see how it is. Okay. Our, our sponsors, I, I can say, because like really got more effort to make this happen. And I uh, we feel that although it might not perfect, but maybe it's a good way to let people to develop. Then once you have all these things done, what we want you is like you wish is like a video. So you are going to compile all these things in the video or you need, you need to explain in the technical form, you need to explain the all the detailed documentation. So the technical challenge, sorry, the, some document on your work as well. So together with all the materials, we eventually, uh, we will select those in the front. Uh, we, we don't know how to make the best, uh, few best um, um, entry and during RoboCup week. Okay, so it's like like now show yourself speaking to all the audience, demonstrating your, your eye to the website to see for example the rules and so on, right? Kind of robot platform you can use. So we have two categories. 
all types of custom built robots. So you can build any robots. You can, you can even use wood and whatever that you can find in your okay. So for this, um, but we have the guideline and also for the website under the rules section, you can find our rules, so our specification. Okay, but uh, the general idea is you are this open platform, and we try to separate uh, between participants in the team are uh, under 19. So if you are anyone that is above, regardless whether you have one is uh, adults, so you will be joining the open category, right? So we will have this uh, competition, and then we have another category standard platform. So we try to inherit the same concept of now and so on so we use the same idea but over for our standard platform category okay and also so the junior category for all the participants that's under who are under now are not allowed to modify anything about the robot so for details yeah we have uh, some explanation over there but the it's in standard platform right so and um, i would like to have platform uh, competition right and this time okay so right um this time okay let me clarify robot already postponed the RoboCup event to 2021, yeah, right? So just to make it clear. So for this event, in order to sponsor, actually sponsoring the award to you, right? So we have the Mac Jupiter Robot Award. We haven't have all the details. We have this thing in the list. So try your best, right? Marcus, you might want off your webcam. Okay, so um, just to show you, in, oh, sorry, some example. So for open platform, the custom built robots, anything else, okay? It doesn't matter. Over here, we list now, it's just any idea what we do. So in our class, we will show you how to, how to uh, develop some raw component that you can use it for. And for standard platform, okay, so for people that want to, uh, although it's standard platform, but we still have two types. So one is MyPython. You have these two versions of Pepper that you can use, add this into two categories. So it's either you use a 2.5, so the, the, the online classes materials for both, but we will buy 2.9 Android for, for these activities. But of course, if you only have two for you out from this company, you still can join, uh, And but we need support that can to you, right? So that is uh, about the robots. Okay. Uh, this event is open for all. Okay, even I, I, I think like regardless, you are students, you are retired, you are professor, lecturers. Uh, yes, it's not the competition is okay, but you can actually like, separate between the junior and open, so it doesn't matter, right? But for activities target for novice and non-expert but the application, we actually ask you your experience in robotics competition. Important for us to see whether uh, is it people that don't have experience at all in the same arena to BT and qualification policy in rules 2020 and three are from non-expert participation but yes non like okay I, I i should not name but please be right so it is very very not fair if you want to fight this kind of robot so try to make sure that keep this as an education uh, activities all right so i hope I'm, I'm i'm clear over here so if you are not clear please read at the eligibility and qualification from there you will know whether you are qualified to enter or not. Okay. Right. Uh, Jeffrey, let me let me okay. add that uh, okay, okay, if okay. there is a, if there is an experienced team, uh, please join Robocap at home. Uh huh. Okay. Oh yes. <laughs> okay. Right. So if you're experienced team, please join Robocap at home. Okay, instead of us. Right. Okay. So let's go to the time schedule. So we have very limited time this time because certain uh, of Robocap. So we we try to respond in a very short time, but we left up with. Of course, you might say you want to do something after the RoboCup. Uh, we focus all our effort and try to make it work for this RoboCup. So we only left about like two months time. So this is the time schedule. It's a bit, it's, we will have the online class, which we split to six. So today is the first class. So you, uh, so it's uh, from um, April 16th, which is today, until you like, learn all the basics, right? You'll learn all the basics. So hopefully like you try your exercise and assignment and, and we will give you also that you will do your team development. After you learn everything from the class, you will this is the this 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 time. So from now April until June of development. Then by June first, so we come to the phase that then your video and whatever to prove your development. You need to prove to what kind of development have you have you have you done, right? And then uh possible is workable so on. So you will okay. So once you submit your your materials review, your development or your proof that documentation that you send to us that your team is doing. For example, you don't have a robot. So we will help you by it to you and so on. But all this is in the assumption that you don't have able to robot in any way. I'm not sure how. Then please use your own. You're supposed to submit your. So you, you after you get the video, you uh, as well. So you get all the videos. You will produce it for the technical video challenge, right? And then it will committee member will review all the videos from June test, right? Um, we know how many we'll select, but we will select. Amount. I'm not sure 10, 20. Amount. So we will select the, the challenge as a final. Okay. It will happen during the robot show, which day yet? Okay. The one um. We need to, we will pick two days. So one day we will do the meeting, we will meeting with you live. 
we will do the testing as well, right? So like, because we have to make sure that all uh, the equipment and every communication is um, covering problem during the final phase. Then we will have the final station remotely, okay? Right. Uh, we will come up with time slot because we understand that Luca and Amy, three of us are in different time zones. <laughs> and we'll let you choose the time slot that suit your time zone. Then presentation and demonstration as the online challenge, okay? So I hope by now, just a little bit more detail. So I know it's already over eight. Uh, the online class, I think this one everyone will want to know because like you, you are going to join that page. will put down all the schedule, okay? What time, what date. If we are using Zoom, I'll put the Zoom, also the password there and the time. Please use, um, I use uh, the Malaysia Singapore time. But um, I'll try to see that you, you, you attend the correct timing. And the class or open platform. So we will, we will show you how to develop raw station. Then after that, we have five classes that we will go through the systems that have the visual module, you have the navigation module and armory, right? So we have some architect, uh, raw uh, platform and so on. And then Pepper 2.9 Android. This is um, already fixed. For Pepper 2.0 points later on. Okay, so please keep in touch with us so that we can do that. And currently for Pepper 2.9, content that we are going to present in our online. If you have any percent of this, you can ask us, but I will leave it for the class. Then it's for you to be able by the end of the class, produce a video, right? For some application and so on, right? Standard platform 2.9, Pepper 2.9, and we are doing that. Okay, for example, for open platform, the tentative day and time is plus eight for my time. And for standard platform, Pepper 2.9, which is now this time, right? 7 p.m. this time. The same we already decided. So uh, hopefully we don't change this and we'll see how to slot it, right? That one, for those um, that want to join, update with the information. Then I would like to say also, just in you have video. So all the classes, we will record the video and also put on the website, like what you see now, okay? Uh, classes and the video I will put there, I will attach to you people from China so you can access. And also the slide and so on. Okay, <clears throat> I understand even after all, uh, attend the classes due to a few reasons. For example, first and fine. Also, I understand the language because not everyone native um, as well. And, and for example, Luca is speaking Italian and so on. So we who are the teachers or the leaders in your group. Please come to us, arrange this thing for a local community. I'll give you an example. For example, Luca just said, right, some classes in Italian, they will find the time that's suitable for people that are able to join. They will select the time and also the language that additional on Zoom tracks, okay, with local native platform of you that you would like to do it for your community, right, right with the US track and so on. So if you want to do for your own couple with the materials, uh, all you need to do is just to rerun the whole thing with your hand won't be so hard for you to understand because these contents are designed. Only after this, for all of you, please come to us to contact us for, for to, to add additional uh, person tracks. A few more. For this um, robot development support, one or two time for you to finish up your development, then you have finished and complete your development. Then us and us, we will sit down together, look at your, and also your source code and see, is it worth for us to put in the effort to see how it works in real robot, okay? But this support or not able to access your own robot, okay? So if you have your robot and do your video, okay? Right. So the, 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 the produce uh, documentation to, to, to prove whether it's in video, it's very, how to say, easy, readable, understand materials because the select those that we can understand. So if you are not giving us sufficient documentation, it's very depends on us, whether we want to help you or not, right? We are not, you worth the support, okay? So after what we and our, we hope we are sponsored to try and you can see after you run all the simulation, you see, and you can see the same result. That is what you will obtain if you really try your best on this. Okay, that show you if we can. So for the technical video challenge, these are some through all the details. Please read it yourself. You need to produce the video description, all the video online somewhere. Then you send us a link and you email us with video showing your best robot performance. Okay, try. We will pay attention on the video, right? So it's important. But also not see real technical content. Okay, so you need to show us to us what are the technical details in your robots. Okay, in the video and also send all this material to us. And the important thing is like you can for your development. Okay, you can either solve the component that is rule 20, you have to go and read to rules 2020 education channel. You have to read it, you have to figure out what are the robots to solve the so That will be one of the scenarios that you can take. Okay, it's not the interest. I mean, like you don't interest in building robots to solve the task, which is like follow the final rules. So you are open to create some needs for your robots to solve or for your robot to help in house and then to assist the elderly or to assist uh, to 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 some and think of one service robot scenario that you can follow the rules in final in rules uh, 2020 for, for that. It's like because we want to promote service robot for the current application to address the current COVID-19 pandemic robots to help the current situation, we welcome you, right? Background story, create a very nice application and then develop your robot that solution for that particular issue, okay? In the team of COVID-19. So, and that, well, this is for the technical video challenge. Okay, uh, so just in case that you look like, so a lot of people is going to ask me like, what is the, the, the video look like? So please refer to this team video sample and team description paper to produce very professional videos and also uh, very nice research based on standard, but it's good that you refer to something good. Okay, this is the reference that you can figure it out. 
to have done the class, you have developed very nice thing, and then you got slow recovery. Okay, so hopefully, I, I, if time allowed, I will today. Maybe it's not that possible. Right, uh, your video very nicely. You have developed your, your robot very nicely. So we will slide in your videos and also your write up to present it live through this um, online uh, judges, our panel, our reviewer, and join to get similar like our finals previously, but we do it remotely. You can actually do the same thing like what you have done in your video, but do it to, to, to cover a lot of um, uh, imperfect. You cannot tell you of your robots, you cannot, yes, you know if you tell you in live, we can see everything, okay? So I can be sure you judge this, first, okay? Right, so that is the online to how you produce a video, but you have to do the whole presentation and then regarding the timing, the time slot, and how we are going to run all this video for the current moment, we still need to work it out, okay? What's um, link that you will ask me at this point, and that I just say, including the rules and so on, is over there, okay? Then, so on, please refer to the second link. Everything will be there, even uh, if you miss. The third link is the online entry form, okay? So, uh, please discuss, I think, maybe like we have people who do some, I think like Amy asked me restriction, I think. I, I, I think we do any restriction. So, you can have, as, not one, okay? Because this is a group work, okay? So, as we said, two, I will tell you the, the award will be limited. <laughs> so, we weren't going to share my that, right? Okay, but one point very people and okay? We, we, we cannot have multiple, if one for us to do the judging, okay? So you cannot have multiple, but if I'm not mistaken, and Pepper, Luca, am I right? <laughs> uh, so I think that uh, my suggestion would be that, of course, in the same institution uh, can uh, join uh, different uh, uh, competitions, uh, different uh, uh, categories, but uh, a single team, uh, so a particular set of students uh, should focus on only one category. Okay. Right. So basically just focus on one category for your team. Try your best. Okay. Don't try like 10 video, but all are not really your best. Okay. So put a very good quality development in one team and join as a team. Okay. So if you still have any problem, so make sure that you select the correct platform, open or standard, and also the correct category, whether it's open category or junior category. If you select the junior category, make sure all your teammates are all below 19, all right? Below 19, follow the RoboCup policy. So I have two entry form over here. The first entry form is for all of you. So if you try the first entry form and you cannot enter, okay? Particularly people from China, maybe you cannot access the first, you're not able to access the first uh, online entry form, you can use the backup to fill in your video. Put this as a group, okay? Don't everyone, if any that you cannot find in the above we have presented, you can call us by email and that's the organizing committee. So you can write to us uh, over there. Okay? So because everyone is busy with all our own lives now. So refer to all the online stuff that we put up, the entry form and uh, any business that you have. But if you read, really, really need to. So with that, I would like to end my presentation here and you like do the thing. <laughs> I would like to add that to yes. ask uh, all potential teams uh, to fill the form, even if you're not sure about uh, some information, uh, don't worry, you can change the information later on. Uh, so if you're not sure about uh, uh, the team composition or the platform that you want to use, uh, I think it's useful at this stage for us uh, to have uh, an idea about uh, how many teams uh, will participate, because here we have hundreds of participants in this uh, uh, chats, but then uh, at I think at this point, uh, very few registrations. So in order to plan our activities, it's good to have uh, some information from you. So don't worry if uh, you, the information are not final, you can change them later, but please uh, fill the forms as, as much as possible so that we have an idea, for example, of regional distribution, how many teams from each country, and uh, what is the orientation of, about the platforms and the categories and so on. Yes. Okay, so please provide this information brain. because it's useful uh, for us to organize the. Uh, I have a question. Hello. And also, I like to. Uh, okay. Yeah. For anyone so just a moment. Can, please put it in the chat. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Just a oh, moment. Okay, okay. Uh, one final word is. Uh, uh, Keep looking at the website because, as uh, Jeffrey was mentioning, uh, we can add additional uh, resources, additional uh, meetings uh, that can be specialized for a particular, I don't know, country or for a particular topic. So this uh, website will be dynamically changed very often. So please, and since we cannot connect, connect contact all of you, uh, because uh, I mean we. In some cases, we don't have uh, all your uh, 
uh, points of contacts, uh, please uh, look at the website frequently so that if there are uh, new information, you can uh, collect them. Okay, so thank you very much from my side uh, and uh, thank you for participation. Thank you, Jeffrey, for running this uh, lecture. Uh, Jeffrey, there is one question which is important. Okay. Is there a deadline for uh, a team entry form yes. submission? The deadline are all written on the website. So you just go to the website, everything is written there. If I'm not mistaken, the deadline for the entry is the same as the submission of the video. Yes, which means you, after people submit video, any entry anymore. Because we need to do that, we need to select the team and so on. So uh, the entry, second, I think I remember correctly, it should be uh, the same day as the beta G's put in the application as early as possible for us to entry and for example like if there's a big crowd uh, one this we will try to give more support right okay so so i will stop the recording right then i'll open for question and answer uh, luca is it okay yes i don't know if there are other people from the organization that wants to say something yeah because um uh, when you ask question maybe like you will have the information so i will stop the session so I will close the session, but I won't end the meeting yet. So if you have anything you want to ask us, you are free to ask now. Or if you anything you want to talk to us, for example, you want to start the track or anything, you want to exchange email or anything, you can do it after this. Uh, we are not going to shut down the, the meeting at, uh, as, soon as, uh, as soon as I finish this, but I need to close it to end the recording. Okay? Because, okay, I'm, yes, yes. because I'm not going to like record your voice into our uh, session. Okay. So um, with that, thanks um, Luca and also Amy, uh, and also our sponsor uh, for that. Very happy to speak to now. So uh, with that, I would like passes for us. Uh, then we will start our classroom uh, for the technical. Now you can do your entry and this uh, Robo Cup at home. So um, thank you for attending, and I hope you can goodbye.